Hi, here's a quick overview to tell you what's new in File Audit 5. File Audit can now retrieve and display the IP address of the machine from which you access a file or folder. Open in the filter you can enter a user name and validate. This indicates from exactly where a user has performed that access or access attempts. Valuable information to help identify suspicious or potentially suspicious activity, such as if the user has access files from a different workstation than normal. To perform a search by IP address, open the filter and just enter the target IP address in the source field and validate. Every file access performed across the network can be traced back to their original IP source. As was the case for previous versions of File Audit, when the access is performed directly on the file server hosting the file or folder, File Audit displays the name of the process for which access is made. It is also possible to define an IP address as selected criteria to trigger an alert or as search criteria for a scheduled report. A new type of alert monitors the frequency of an access type to files or folders performed by the same user. Alerts can then be triggered when a user performs a number of accesses deemed beyond the tolerated threshold for a defined period of time. When a significant number of read accesses are performed during a short period of time, the probability is that that user has executed a bulk file copy. Likewise, when a significant number of deletions are performed during a short period of time, the probability is the user has either deleted or moved a large number of files. The alerts indicate the user name, source, the date and time of the violation as well as the alert perimeters, making it easier to further investigate with File Audit the full access history. File Audit 5 helps to minimise the risk of files accessed during non-business hours. When setting alerts, a new tab allows you to define the days and hours during which access is considered normal or regular, or we could say the established business hours. All access out of the hours configured will then be considered as irregular and will trigger the alert if the other criteria are also satisfied. So, for example, access times here are defined as 7am to 8pm Monday to Friday. Any access before 7am or after 8pm that meets this alert's criteria will trigger a warning. Likewise, if the access is made during the weekend.